Hi, my name is Janet and welcome to 365 Inspired Yoga Classes. Today is day 43 and today we are inspired by the root chakra called Muladhara and uh, we'll start our practice seated. So I recommend, it's going to be more of a gentle practice, that you have some props nearby. You might need some blocks and I recommend that you sit on a blanket. So you'll take your blanket and, and make it just the right height so that you'll be comfortable seated. Your root chakra is located at the tailbone and the base of the spine. Chakras or chakras are energy centers in your body. They're about the size of a quarter and they're always swirling and moving. And they can move out of alignment. The element of the root chakra is earth. So your earth chakra, muladhara, could come out of alignment if you move, if uh, you find that there's something in your place of life that is changing dramatically, like a relationship might be changing, a job might be changing. And this is concerned with our feelings of safety and security. Basic survival needs like food and shelter and that feeling of belonging, of community. So we start seated and I ask you to place your hands on your body. Now if you want to know more about the chakras, I will leave links to some really great books. I also have a 30-day beginning yoga challenge where I go into each of the chakras and some other ways that you can keep your chakras balanced. But for today, we're going to use this as a physical or asana practice to balance out and find stability in our root chakra. So you're seated, you can feel your tailbone touching the mat behind you with your hands on your body. Your body also represents the substance of the earth chakra. So go ahead and close your eyes and feel your legs. Just feel where your hands are resting. You feel the texture maybe of your pants or if you're touching skin, what your skin feels like. And then take your hands and bring them to prayer position right in front of your heart, bow your chin towards your chest, and take a moment to experience your connection to the earth. Can you sense the sense of gravity? Can you feel the solidity beneath you, the earth? And take a moment in gratitude for the earth element our feeling of basic safety and survival and know that whether you're feeling a little shaky in this area, our practice will help ground you and help you to feel connected. Take your hands and place one hand over your heart, the other one over that hand and feel your beating heart, your physical body. And then blink your eyes open. Take your hands back to your knees or thighs, roll your shoulders down and back, press your chest forward, lift your gaze up and feel the stretch through the front of your body. Begin to tilt forward on your pelvis so your butt tilts back and your belly moves forward so you get a good stretch through the front of your body and an arch in the back of your body. Breathe in this space. Breathe it out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. With your next breath in, sit up nice and tall, and as you exhale, round your spine, chin to chest, slouching the back into a cat stretch for the spine. Just breathe. You'll notice I'm wearing red pants, and red is the color of the base chakra. We need to sit up nice and tall in our practice to really feel grounded. We're going to keep the movements grounded, slow. We'll hold the postures as we experience our connection to earth. Let's take our left hand down to the side of the mat, reach the right hand up, bend the left elbow toward you, stretch your right arm up and over. I you to feel your right sit bone, push it down as you reach your right hand over. Good, breathe in and go a little further as you breathe out. One more breath here, inhale. Breathe in, rise back up, and as you exhale, place your right hand down. Take your left hand, lift it up. Bend the right elbow towards you as the left hand reaches over. Press your left sit bone down to really feel balanced and stable through the hips as the left hand reaches up and reaches over. Maybe turn your gaze up to the left palm. Ah, good. 
One more breath here. Let's reach and rise all the way back up. Good. Take a moment to look down at your legs and notice how they're crossed. We're going to take our legs and send them right out in front of us. Just wiggle them out a little bit and then recross your legs with the opposite leg in front. If it feels a little bit strange, you've made the connection, you've made the change. Good. So let's take our arms and reach them out like the letter T and bend your elbows 90 degrees like gold post arms or goddess arms or sometimes I call them cactus arms. Bring your palms to touch and bring your elbows to touch. Let's stretch in the shoulders by lowering the left elbow down, draw the right elbow toward you and wrap your arms around. If you have challenges in the shoulders, this connection might not happen and you might place your hands down on your shoulders or create genie arms. Do what's best for your body always through the practice as we move gently and slowly, really connected to the substance of our body, to what we feel in the body, our connection to the earth element that is within us. Breathe in and stretch your fingertips up high, really noticing the stretch in your shoulders there. Stay with it as you breathe out. Good, one more deep breath in. Stay for the exhale, and then slowly start to lower your elbows, unravel your arms, take them out like the letter T, turn your thumbs down, reach your hands behind your back, and clasp your hands together. Send your knuckles down toward your tailbone, lift your heart up and look up. Let your head drop back and just feel your connection, your balance points, your sits bones on the mat. Notice how your ankles touch the mat. Feel your body. Come back up to neutral spine. Release your hands out. Bend your elbows 90 degrees and bring your palms and elbows to touch. So we'll take the opposite elbow. For me, my right elbow now slides down. The left elbow crosses in front and I wrap my hands around. Remember, if you did genie arms on the first side, do genie arms here as well. Once you've made the connection that works for you, let's take the fingers and extend them up, feeling the stretch through your shoulders and holding that stretch right there. Good. Mm. One more breath in. As you exhale, push your elbows down into your chest. Feel that little added stretch. Good. And release the arms, sweep them out wide like the letter T, turn your thumbs down, reach behind your back, clasp your hands, unravel them, and put the other thumb on top, the other first finger. So I initially my hands want to go like this. I'm just asking you to unravel your hands and switch your grip back there. Once you do that, you feel your hands in a whole different way. It feels weird, it feels awkward, because we made a change. Let's send our fingertips down toward the earth, or knuckles down, and drop the chin to the chest. Now while you're looking down, notice the gentle movement of your chest as you breathe. Just enjoy that easy stretch in the back, in the back of your neck. Good. Then release your hands from behind your back and bring your neck and head back up. There you go, back to neutral. Let's take a little twist here, a spiral. Take your right hand to your left thigh, your left hand will come behind you. Maybe your left hand can find your right hip crease, otherwise it'll touch the earth back there. Breathe in to find length, and as you exhale, turn and look to the left. Let's do two more breaths here. Inhale, lift tall, breathe out, twist deep. One more time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale as you twist. Super. Unravel your twist. Come back to center. Let's try the other side. Left hand to the right thigh. Right hand somewhere back there behind your back. Maybe if you did it before, find that little half bind by bringing the left hand over to the right hip crease. Right hand to the left hip crease, left hand to the right thigh. That got confusing, but we got it. Let's inhale to lengthen and breathe out to look over your right shoulder. Two more breaths here, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Once more, inhale, extend, and breathe out to twist deep. Good. On your next inhale, unravel your twist. Bring yourself back to center. We've been sitting on our tush connected to the earth in this way now for about 10 minutes. So let's make a little change and come on to the hands and knees. And while you shift your hands and knees, I'd like to suggest that you find your uh, blocks, take your blanket, unfold it, place it between or beneath your knees and have the blocks maybe at the upper corners of your mat so they'll be available within reach should you decide to use them in this next segment of our class. 
So as you come onto your hands and knees, I want you to look down at your hands and place the wrists beneath your shoulders, and your hands are about shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers out really wide and begin to claw at the mat. Feel the substance of your mat. Feel the element of the earth down there beneath your palms. Good. Spread your fingers wide once again and then drop your head down between your arms and look at your knees and set your knees beneath your hips, usually just a few inches beneath the knees. Mine are about four inches apart. If you can see your feet back there, separate your feet until they disappear right behind your thighs. As you breathe in, lower your belly toward the mat, lift your gaze up, and bend your elbows toward your chest. Good. So this is a bit of a cat stretch. We're just going to feel it in the substance of our body. Feel it in your physical body. Feeling your structure, the elements of earth. The elements of earth are found in your body. Minerals and chemicals, oxygen. Let's round the spine, draw your chin to your chest, stretch your back like a scaredy cat on Halloween. Can you keep breathing and at the bottom of each exhale, pull your belly in nice and tight. Good, one more breath here, really stretching your body. And then come back to a neutral tabletop position. Let's take our blocks and place them in front of us. Moving the hands forward just a little bit, the blocks forward of my shoulders quite a bit. We're going to come down to the elbows and get a good stretch in a puppy pose. So as you come down to your elbows, you may go, oh my gosh, that's too much. You might come up and move your blocks forward or maybe you move them out. The blocks are separated enough for my head to fit between the blocks, so space your blocks accordingly and drop your head down. Bring your palms to touch and see if your bent elbows can bring the thumb knuckles to touch your spine. This is a version of puppy pose. Opening up the spine, really feel your connection. You can see your legs back there. They're connected to your yoga mat. You feel your elbows on your blocks. Just opening up the heart here as we hold this posture. Feel the stretching in our shoulders, awareness of our physicality, of our physical body. Take one more breath here. And then release with care. The hands will drop down, the head lifts up, and we'll come back up. We'll leave the blocks right there as we bring our right foot to the back of the mat, placing the toes curled under so you can press your heel back and move forward and back just a little bit. Good. Now press back and hold. Excellent. Shift forward and take your right foot out to the right side of your mat. I'm going to turn to face you so you can see what I'm doing here. This is called gate pose with the right foot out to the side. I'm going to walk my hands back up onto my hips. There we go. We're standing up kind of through the body as we rest on the left knee with the right leg extended. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Take your left hand, reach it up, and enjoy a little side body extension through the left side of your body. Breathe in and go a little further. As you exhale, hold here. Take two more breaths. Feeling stable, grounded, and strong. Let's come back up and change sides. Take your left hand down outside of the left knee and take your right hand up. Turn the right palm in and stretch over, reaching through, extending through the right side of the body. Bring your awareness to your foundation, your left hand, your left knee. Feel your right foot on the mat. The toes are slightly turned in. Good. Mm, really extending. One more breath here. And then circle your hands down in front of you. Now finding your blocks, and I'm going to shift my position just so you can see what's happening. The right foot is out to the side. The blocks are beneath your palms. You're going to toe heel your right foot forward to the outer right corner of your mat. Bring your blocks close together, even to touch, and press your hips forward. You could stay upright or really get into grounding into this stretch and by coming down to your forearms. Let your head hang heavy. You may notice I curled my back toes under. This engagement of the low leg muscle by curling the toes under helps my knee feel better. If your back left knee is tender, try this out, see if it helps. Another important thing as you look to the right is that your right ankle is not behind your right knee, but it's pushed forward of the right knee. That'll make more sense when I do the other side and see what that looks like. Good. Slowly make your way back up onto your hands. 
Let's take our blocks and pick up the right block so we can bring the right foot to the center of the mat. I recommend turning the blocks up to a little bit higher setting. Press your hips forward, roll your shoulders down and back. Just hold the stretch, extending through the front of your left hip. Check in here that the knee is not pushed beyond the ankle. That the knee is either behind the ankle or directly on top of the ankle. That makes sense. And it's just to protect your knee so that it feels good at the end of our practice. Yes. Oh, one more breath here. Mm. And let's counter that by walking the blocks back, straightening the front right leg, pulling the hips back, square your hips, and then stretch down over your right leg. Big hamstring stretch for the right leg. Take a few breaths here, really feeling grounded, feeling stable. You can adjust the blocks up or down, depending on your level of flexibility. Good, and then rise back up, shifting forward. Set your blocks aside, or actually we'll put them probably down at their lowest setting like we did before, so we can do the same sequence on the second side. We're gonna take the left foot to the back of the mat now and push it back a little bit. And then because we're finding the earth element, the substance, the stillness, let's press the left heel back. Just hold the stretch, feel your body, feel the left hamstring. I'm noticing it really in my left calf muscle. Where are you feeling it? Just stay connected to that, to that sensation. Good. And then shift forward and trace your left foot over to the side. And just like on the first side, you see where you are. I'm just gonna turn my body so you can see what this looks like. I'll bring my blocks with me. For me, I like to turn them up just a little. And we'll bring the hands back to the body, coming to rest on the right knee with the left leg extended to the side. Place your left hand down, take your right hand up, and enjoy a side body extension through the right side body, feeling stable and grounded through the left knee, through the, through the right knee, through the left foot. Mm, just stretching over, keep breathing. Ah. We're inspired today by feeling our connection to the earth element, not only beneath us, but also within us. Let's bring it up and over to the other side. Place your right hand down, take your left hand up, turn your left arm in and reach over your head. Feel where you're connected to the earth. Feel the right hand, spread your fingers wide. Feel the right knee. Feel the left foot, fully planted, slightly pigeon-toed inward. Feeling stable, safe, connected. Good. Mm. One more breath here. Now circle your hands down in front of you and find your blocks. I'm going to turn back to where I was before and toe heel, so you're here, toe heel your left foot to the upper left corner of the mat. Take your blocks on a little lower level if you'd like, try to match what you did both sides. And here we are, I'm going to push forward. So I mentioned it on the first side, I want to demonstrate on the second side. You want to be mindful that your knee doesn't move beyond your ankle. That just puts a little under stress. And, and you kind of miss out on the pose. So moving the left foot forward so that the knee is either directly above the ankle or slightly behind it, but not beyond it. And if you did it on the first side, you might make your way right on down to your forearms. Mm. Wow, feeling the stretch, right? Today we're really feeling the physical body, sensations of our connection to the earth element, muladhara, base chakra. The chakras are represented by the lotus flower, and the lotus flower comes from the earth, comes from the muck, the bottom of a swampy lake or water area. And from the earth we grow. So really appreciating the, the nutrients of earth. Alrighty, next stretch, we're gonna come up onto the palms. This time we'll pick up the left block and toe the left foot to the center of the mat. I recommend taking the blocks to their highest setting, but you decide what works for you and remember what you did on the first side, match it here on the second. And then press your hips forward, roll your shoulders down. We're sitting up nice and tall, really feeling our body stretch. Really notice where you're feeling it the most. For me, it's the front of my right thigh, this thigh back here. Ooh, I'm definitely experiencing some intense feelings of stretching, some muscles I've been using in my bike ride yesterday walking my dog, and of course, my strong yoga practice. Oh, one more breath here. And start to shift back. 
As you begin to walk your blocks back, make the height adjustment, straighten your left leg, try to pull the left hip back, maybe adjusting the blocks if you did them on the first side, we'll stretch down over the left leg, just feeling the stretch, in the back of the left leg, enjoying the intensity of this posture, feeling the pull of gravity that's keeping us grounded on the earth, One more deep breath here, and then begin to lift up, shift forward. Set your blocks aside. I think we're done with blocks for today, and bring yourself back to a tabletop position. From tabletop position, let me ask you to curl your toes under and find a downward facing dog by sending your hips up and back. Big stretch here. So adjust the posture as needed. If you are concerned, we will be walking to the top of the mat. You might want to pull the blanket out of the way. We're kind of done with that blanket for now. There we go. So really feeling your connection to the earth. Take a, take a moment here to look at your hands. Are they shoulder width apart like they were in tabletop? Make an adjustment as needed. Spread your fingers wide. Claw at the earth and then extend the hands out, fingers out. Drop your head between your arms, letting your head hang. Look back at your legs. It's really not important that your heels touch the mat, but in time they probably will. If I leave you here too long, just come back to tabletop or stay with me, really feel still, find groundedness, find stability, feel the earth element as you hold. Just one more deep breath in, full breath out. Good, breathe in, look to your hands, and as you exhale, slowly walk to forward fold. Feel your feet connect to the mat. Now that you're here, leave your feet separated, hip distance apart, I recommend softening your knees. Good, hold your opposite elbows, and sway gently side to side if you like this feeling. Feel the weight of your body hanging over your thighs. Now take your hands and just trace your fingers along your mat to one side, and then back to the other as if you are finger painting on your mat or tracing your fingers through grass or sand or dirt, earth elements, good. Come to center, bring your feet together to touch and slowly round up to standing. Feel your feet connected to the earth. Come all the way up. Standing up nice and tall. Muladhara chakra is located at the base of your spine. Your legs are an extension of this chakra and they connect you to the earth. So as you stand upright, nice and tall, bring your arms overhead and your palms connect above you. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to your heart space. Gaze down over your fingertips or close your eyes. Notice how you feel connected to the earth. It's your life going through dramatic change and it's hard to feel stable and connected here. Slow down your breathing, feel your connection, and you'll start to feel the element of Muladhara bringing you a feeling of belonging and of connection to your base chakra. Open your eyes. Let's create a slow and standing stretch. Release your palms to your sides. Turn your palms forward as your shoulders relax down from your ears you arrive in a posture called mountain. There are many variations of yoga postures based on the school of yoga, but this is one version. And what a beautiful earth connection it is. Breathe in and sweep your arms overhead. Another variation of mountain. Turn your palms in and relax your shoulders from your ears. Just feel the extension through your body. Notice any sensations in your hands. Are they tingling? Just feeling whatever it is you feel. Let's look up and grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand, give it a little pull, and then tilt over to the left. Feel the stretch through the right side of your body. Pull your right shoulder back, really feel extended. Nice. Just a couple more breaths here. Mm. Come back up to center and change your grip. Take your right hand, grab your left wrist, give it a little stretch, and then tilt over to the right. Push your hips to the left. Maybe lift up and look underneath your left arm. Breathe in. Stretch further as you breathe out. Mm. 
One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come back up to center. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to prayer position right in front of your heart. Let's challenge our balance with tree pose. And what a perfect pose to demonstrate our earth chakra because through the bottoms of your feet, we want you to use your imagination and think that maybe out the toes and through the base of your foot, you have some energetic connection that's digging down into the earth, your need to feel stable, your desire to be safe, to have your basic needs of food and shelter, and even connection with other people grounded in community. Start to release the right foot from that connection. Maintain the left foot as you turn your right ankle, knee out to the side. And there it is, that's tree pose. You can take this pose a little notch higher by placing your right foot against your left leg. If you'd like to challenge your balance even more, take your right hand down, reach for the right ankle, pull the right foot up into your groin so that the base or the sole of the right foot touches the inner left thigh and the right knee continues to turn out. Feel these sensations, the substance of your body, the connection to your base chakra. If you're feeling it, you might extend and grow some branches, reaching up and stretching, reaching for the sun, feeling the air around you, and bringing your connection to earth stable, good. Slowly bring your hands back to your heart, whoops, and lower your right foot to the earth. Let's shift the body weight to the right foot. Pause. Feel the roots of the right foot growing down into the earth. And then start to release the left foot roots. And maybe begin to lift your left heel and turn your left knee out. You could stay exactly here. It's a beautiful tree to stay just like that. Or if you tried to challenge your balance today a little bit more, take your left foot to the calf muscle. Checking in with the right leg, feeling stable there. Remember what you did on the first side. If you took the added, took the added challenge, reach your left hand down, grab your ankle, the left foot, and pull the sole of your left foot to the inner right thigh. You can stay exactly as you are. It's plenty challenging. Or maybe decide it's time to reach when you feel stable through your base chakra, you're able to move with greater ease through the other chakras, which we'll be getting into in the next few days. But for today, feel your substance, feel gravity, feel connection, feel solid, safe, grounded, and you belong. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bring your hands back to prayer position. Inhale, and as you exhale, lower your left foot down to the earth. And pause for a moment. Perhaps you gaze down over your fingertips, or you close your eyes. And as we pause in this connection through Muladhara, our base chakra, through the legs and all the way down, through the legs and into the feet, and into our connection with the earth, I'd like to share an inspirational quote. You are not separate from the whole. You are one with the sun, the earth, the air. You don't just have a life, you are life. And I got this quote from Positively Present on Pinterest. Thank you so much for sharing your practice today. I hope you feel grounded, stable, and safe. From my heart to yours, namaste. Please share with me your ideas and comments. Share this YouTube channel with your friends and family. We really appreciate your support. Thank you so much.